just um, sitting basically on the ground near near the fire. Uh, Astrolabe kind of fidgeting in the hand. Lyle planted in the ground beside him and just um, mental and just having nice little mental talks with Lyle. Um, just about one of his past lives. Just getting a bit of details down. Uh, then once he's had a nice full uh, belly full of bacon, for the ones he can bacon he can scrouch, he's going to click the astrolabe open and just give it a nice little look and study before we head off onto the road. He's going to stare at it. He's going to take out his uh, astrolabe, the broken one, compared it to see what's different. See how it, um, how more accurate the crafter's astrolabe is compared to his. You're going to see if there's anything sal um, that you can salvage from his astrolabe to the crafters, or if there's anything different. Try to see if they both meet I'm towards the same direction. I mean, yeah, the crafter, your, your astrolabe is broken. It has not been functional uh, since you landed, crashed here. The crafter's astrosphere is basically the equivalent of taking yours and making it in three dimensions. It folds out and becomes this sphere that, uh, yeah, whereas the astrolabe is sort of a flat disc and you kind of have to align it yourself. This actually, you know, has ingeniously sort of unfolds into multiple rings that all align themselves around. And uh, do me a um, Arcana plus intelligence checks, please. Okay, here's your intelligence. <laughs> wow. Well then. To be fair, that seems on brand for Iskrin. Yeah, it, it actually does seem on brand for Iskrin. Um, <laughs> you, in this messing around with it, get amazing insight into this sphere uh, and into um, the stars and how they align and how the gate activates and when it will activate and all of this incredible um, numerology that, that seems to be controlling all of the magical forces of the world. And you have no idea what any of it means. And so you discard it and just figure, eh, whatever. Uh, mixed in with that is the signal of your partner, um, uh, Kirill Eidron, and a, another Eladron, apparently on this sphere. And you sort of give it a, a thump on the side, figuring it must be broken. And at, when you do that, it sort of all folds back down together and, uh, you know, seems to have sort of done its thing for the day. There is there is the longest of size, and then just tucked into the belt pouch. Don't worry, you'll get the hang of it again soon. You hear Lyle's voice in your head. <laughs> 